Thursday morning. At least the wind has died down and there's still a lot, a lot of lines. Jeez, thank goodness that wind's gone. Still some good lines coming in and there the sun comes. Can you believe it? Just pick the camera up. Should be a good day with more fun waves, more rideable, controllable waves. There she blows. See that sun's crept even further over to the right. Crazy. Before the sun was in that chink over there, it was coming up off the edge of that mountain there. It's gone from there all the way to there. You all look at these lines coming into the bay. Fun day upcoming. How's it you? How's it looking, bud? Hello, man. It's um, it's big, uh, but the yeah, winds are very dull. They're very very flat. dull. Flats yeah. like yesterday afternoon. I think the tide's full, and with the, with the tide dropping, I think it will start happening. Yeah, yeah. Away, you know? But there's some big ones out there. Yeah, and no, I can see it looks like it's a solid eight, eh? Yeah. Plus, eh? Yeah. Better than yesterday. Um, At least there's no wind. <laughs> without the wind, yeah. <laughs> Shut, bud. Oof, it's bombing. Absolutely bombing. Oh my god, yeah, it's wild, man. It's even bigger than yesterday. Just look at that. Actually didn't expect it to be this big. This is serious and this is the back end of the of the uh, set that's coming through. So you feel the wind's gone straight offshore, it's coming over my shoulder. That's great, but you can see how fat that is. A lot of paddling for very little reward. Uh, you can see the northwest ripple coming across the bay. It'll take a little while for that to go away. It's looking very, very, very washy and almost bigger than yesterday see how that goes so wide it goes off steps off the reef and then it goes really fat man it's just cranking check this erosion you that bank's fallen down even more chaos on the beach low tide suck back is a big set coming I hope he doesn't go to make a big mistake if he goes now he's jumped into the channel so this next wash is going to push him straight back up the channel there's going to be a big rush coming at him now here it comes turn tight turn your tail and go back boy it's getting washed back <laughs> As predicted, back up the channel. You got to time it, boy. So there's the suck, and he hasn't gone. He should have gone with that suck back. Now he's beached high and dry. On the wrong side of the channel now. Should have gone with that suck, he would have been out of there. It's all about timing. Comes a monster set. Coming into the bonies. Don't go, whatever you do. He's already in the channel. A northwest delight. <laughs> bigger than yesterday, you know that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is bigger than yesterday. Bigger period, it's got more energy. And the northwest is worse than that southwest yesterday, believe it or not. They always forecast the swell to come early. That back end when it turns is way, way more powerful. A foam delight. Eventually. Got a nice flat now. 
Got to watch the fins. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh, it's going dry. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, he's on it now. He's got enough water now. Maybe. Wind's just starting to go around. going to clean up now. The next two hours are going to be the primo session. Still going wide. There are some waves. All right, been standing and watching this for long enough now. The, the uh, winds uh, it's only drop off and going around to southwest, so time to get out there. It's going to be a glass off for about two hours and then possibly some onshore. So yeah, now's the time. So just to give you a bird's eye view of what it's like to stand in the channel and uh, face the ocean, this is what it looked like, captured by Gordon Wood, thanks Gordon. Only got one snap out of the photogs for the session, but that was good enough. Yeah, well that might just be it. Uh, the wind's gone onshore. The car park's starting to clear out already. These are the last onshore waves coming through. See it's crumbly, a lot of closeouts, not easy to ride. Yeah, the last session probably of the winter maybe. Pretty freaking average session out there. Very lumpy, very difficult. Glassed off for a little while, but <laughs> yeah, wasn't great. Still some big rogue sets coming through, but first onshore we've had for probably three months. So that's the start of the season starting to swing towards summer, September, October. Let's see. See if another one comes through. This may just be the last of the big ones. We had our first uh, onshore yesterday, so that's the first indication of the swing of the season. Uh, I see it's still northwest. It's plenty of swell. Yeah, I tell you, between the editing at early hours of the morning and uh, and the uh, and the surf, man, I'm absolutely exhausted. I feel like I feel like I'm in drag through the bush this last while feeling absolutely buggered energy levels definitely <laughs> on the flat battery side it's been a freaking crazy week I mean Saturday was monstrous Saturday, Sunday was monstrous Monday was monstrous Tuesday was four to five foot uh, Wednesday was freaking massive Thursday was massive today is a solid six foot on the sets I'm going down to go and surf because you got to, I mean, you just can't pass it up. But you are trying to pick the best windows because you just can't surf at all. It's been just crazy. All the knee borders are in town. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of the knee borders in the water now. Um, the air comp starts on Monday. 120 guys from all over the world, world championships. First time ever at the point. Uh, there looks like swell, a couple of funky wind days and stuff like that, but yeah, good contest surf, they're going to have waves throughout. Not what we've been having, this like absolute freaking primo crazy stuff that we've been having for the last two months, but they'll have waves. So yeah, we may go and do a little bit of footage down there, chat to the guys, just see how it's all going. And cover a little bit of the comp, we'll see. Yeah, Pepper Street looking a little bit more deserted. Or put it this way, it's looking a bit more normal now. And there's another swell coming on the weekend. <laughs> Friday, and it's still bombing, but it's got a northeaster on it. <laughs> bombing again. Shoe, so Saturday morning after the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, check this out. Oh man, it is clean blue water. Five foot sets winding down the point. That's almost six. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's just never ending. And more coming. Look at that. Jeez, another early morning freaking editing session. Oh my, you gotta look at out the window. Another beautiful morning. Big lines coming into the bay. We buggered, man. It hasn't stopped. It's been six foot since oh, Thursday was eight foot. Friday was six solid 
bombing. Yeah, yesterday was incredible. These guys are so surfed out. Even with 120 kneeboarders in town for this World Championships, which starts on Monday or tomorrow. I mean, paddled out there. It was like there was just nobody on the back line. I would just take off on whatever set you want to, and everybody just so burnt out. Um, there's half the guys on the water because the guys are just completely done. And I mean, it's it's six foot today again, and there's more coming down the line. So, <laughs> yeah, freaking crazy, crazy winter. Yeah, Sunday morning, absolutely beautiful day, windless. Probably going to get a little bit of south funky, onshorey, maybe a bit of southerly today. Uh, J Bay is not great when it's like that; it gets this sort of wobbly sort of texture you get this if you don't have an offshore blowing it gets this movement in the water and you don't get those pure barrels and you te it tends to get sectiony but man the freaking body is just so worn out I've just been drinking water this morning you can just feel I'm just so dehydrated yeah yesterday was sublime man everybody's so burnt out there was hardly anybody out I'm basically sitting on my own on the takeoff on the outside and just having wave after wave after wave you actually have to try and slow yourself down because you just burn out because it's such a long paddle, you know, you're making it all the way down to the channel and having to paddle, looking at 700 meter paddles, you know, it's just, you do a couple of those and you, at our age and you like, and I was also riding a, a Smith Matrix, it's uh, my sort of performance shortboard, I uh, really enjoyed it yesterday because the conditions were so good, fast, um, it's 32 liters, so it's three liters less than what I normally would ride with these, with our mashups and that, so yeah, you feel those paddles back. 10 past 9 now so I don't even bother to come down look at the look at the webcam and that but yeah it's such a nice morning and we're so burnt out there's no freaking rush jeez yeah so another freaking incredible week of surfing at J Bay it's just been insane and there's there's more swell coming down the line the uh, uh, knee borders comp starts tomorrow I don't know how much coverage I'm gonna do with that I've actually been asked to go and do a little bit of commentary online and things like that but I haven't spoken to Giggs since he asked me so I know they've been super busy he did a bit of footage on there on their little parade yesterday uh, before going surfing so yeah we'll just have to see how that all works out freaking pretty exhausted to be honest it's been freaking hectic two months of freaking video editing surfing Recovering, yeah, I took a couple of freaking solid beatings in barrels yesterday and uh, bruised my ribs a bit So yeah, I'm feeling them a bit today But still good. I mean still managing to surf. So yeah, no complaints. So yeah, no idea what I'm gonna bring you this week We'll just have to wait and see So check this out. This is Sunday It's been cranking the whole week. And we thought we had the day off. Just check this out oh, It's ridiculous Absolutely firing, no wind, blue water. They just don't get better than this. The old man's just too tired at the moment. <laughs> Smells a little bit straight on south, so it's going to be fast and sectiony. It'll improve when the south wind gets on it later, and the wind. With the wind and the swell turning a bit more into the southwest, the new swell, four meter swell incoming. So, yeah, lots to look forward to. A picture perfect day at J Bay. Light at all. Northerly blowing. Beautiful morning. Absolutely spectacular. Smells a little straight on, but yeah, waves for days. Yeah, so yesterday was interesting because it was just so clean and so freaking perfect. And the bottom, you know, with all the sand, it was barreling like amazingly. It's probably the best day at Supers, probably for the year. Maybe not the the best day on the radar, but it was just so clean. And uh, I took out my six one matrix that. Uh, Graham made for me. I haven't ridden it this last time I've been riding. It's sort of been different sort of conditions, you know, lumpy, heavy, big. So you're like searching for step ups or you're searching for a board to surf in, in the sort of flatter sort of uh, conditions. And um, yeah, yesterday was a perfect day. I took that out yesterday and 
the board absolutely flew. I mean, that board is, was made for those conditions. The board is fast, super responsive, and yeah, I had an absolute ball out there. Um, it was interesting, and it just shows you, man. Horses for courses, right boards, right conditions, you know, that six foot sort of barreling conditions. And uh, interestingly, I got drilled into the bottom yesterday uh, after not making one of the barrels and stood up on pure sand on the bottom. And uh, that's what's made the difference. This wave is so different now with the sand that's filled in. We've almost got a sand bottom now and, the, but, and it's just dredging from the top to the bottom of the point. Absolutely beautiful. You can see the sand in the, in the, in the wave. It's pulling up, a, it's almost a beach break now. And uh, you see that look around that's going. You just need the offshore on it now. And yeah, the sand makes such a difference. It flattens the bottom out. The wave gets a much more clean, greater blade sort of wall that we had yesterday, which just makes it barrel like unbelievably. Absolutely magical day at J Bay. Oh man, no wind, warm beautiful beautiful day little mic on the beach filming everybody going for a walk sunday delight let's come and have a look at the sand that's gone into the rock pools here it's amazing you can see all the rocks are surrounded by sand now have a look at this whale tail this is the one i mean where we're standing now was pure rock uh, in that previous couple of couple of videos back this is the whale tail look at it it's almost buried now and this this whole area down here was all right around this was all scarred out it was there was absolutely no sand whatsoever and you can uh, see in all the rock pools here there's sand so all the indents and all that all the indentations have been taken out and uh, the bottom is flat especially out in the on the uh, reef as well and it's just made such a difference to the wave Obviously, there's a massive trade-off because it's come out of the dunes, but uh, yeah, I don't know how long this will last. Now you can see all the sand being sucked up by the waves there. It's breaking on pure sand now. I'm hoping to get a, a decent wave here. Click to the next one. Knee broader. Look at all that sand. Check this out. Oh, you don't see these kind of conditions often, man. It's just so clean and blue and warm. It's unfreaking believable. Ew! Needs the offshore. Oh, a couple of slow coaches. Who's that? One of the girls. Ew! Look at that. On you. Did you get a couple in today? Yeah, so hey? fun. It's yeah. been good, eh? Yeah, how about it like sunrise? <laughs> when are you going home? <laughs> uh, when the surf stops? Yeah, when the surf stops. Which is... Your name is Remy? Yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> so that everybody knows. We've got Huey sitting here. Huey, why are you not in, bud? Too early. Too early, eh? It's too nice. <laughs> I'm waiting for the winter. Waiting for that south, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, eh? It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. Sure, it's pretty. She was eh? the first one in the water. This You're the first one in the water this morning. Well done. <laughs> it's not fun looking into that sun when you're turning at the bottom and looking up at the lip. No, eh? It's blinding, no, eh? But it was yeah. such a beautiful morning. Ah, awesome, man. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about yourself. What are you doing? Oh. So my mom and I have been traveling. Um, coast of South Africa for the last two years so we've been up and down continuously and I'm 16 and I'm still doing school work so like my mom works remotely and then I do online schooling like wherever we are um, and then we've been here in JB for like a month now so here for another two months and then we'll go and head off to our next spot Okay, cool. Just yeah. follow the waves, follow the weather. Yeah, for Jeez, sure. you're so lucky, eh? Yeah. Jeez, luck. Yeah. Eh? yeah. And you're getting some schooling done in between. You haven't done a lot of schooling <laughs> this last two months, I can tell you that. Uh, and don't tell me you have because I don't believe you. <laughs> I've seen you down here every day. <laughs> yeah. I'd say I like work early mornings and late nights and then schedule it like when the waves are good. I'm sure like the periods. But I'm originally from 
Cape Town, Malkwa Strand. I used to Malkwa. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Soon to be moving to Jay Bay permanently or you something. Know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, awesome, yeah. man. Yeah. Enjoy, man. It's Thanks. been such fun. Cheers, one. man. All the knee borders in town. It's going to start getting very busy. Yeah, we were just a day from the start of the uh, 2024 uh, world titles, world knee board titles. A lot of the guys had come down a week before to sample the surf and had a chance to get some practice in and learn the area. Civil rights, you demand that I eternize your name. Walk ahead. Mm -hmm. You cover us in shame, and I take the blame. Living by the rules, team with high school blues. Walk ahead. So from the Nilo's point of view, what do what the boys have to say? How's Jay Bay? All time. All time, yeah, eh? Absolutely all time. Look sick ass. Sick ass? Don't say it. <laughs> the best. The best. Yeah, you enjoyed it, eh? Absolutely all time, man. Some of the best waves you've ever seen. Yeah, it's awesome, awesome. Awesome. yeah. <laughs> You guys get a couple, though, eh? It's very yeah. epic place. We've been shooting all day for days. <laughs> yeah, awesome, man. Awesome. Oh well. Here comes another set. It's on short tomorrow, so you better get out there today. Relentless. Oh, really? yeah, we've been yeah, there yeah. already. Yeah, just popping down to come and have a look at the location of the uh, knee board comp. They're putting up the infrastructure. Got the judging towers up. Knee board surf world titles, J Bay, 24th of August 2024. They've missed all that monster swell that we've had. I think it's going to go a little bit quieter, but there's still swell forecast. So, yeah, they should have fun here. Much more of a sort of performance-y, more performance-orientated wave. The point, softer, you can do turns. Good for a contest, and it can handle the onshore bit. A couple of little sets coming through. A couple of guys on the outside. Ah, man, it looks like picture postcard today. It's so pretty, man. Insane colors, looks like Indo. Colors today with the sun and this water is absolutely insane. Just look at this. Absolutely insane colored water.
Tell me gigs, what's it like to run a freaking comp, eh? And try and kneeboard in it. Let me tell you, <laughs> my wisdom left with my head 20 years ago. Okay. <laughs> this is my only stint as an event organizer. I will not do this again. I'm going back to commentary just like you. <laughs> <laughs> now you must get your own show. It's a lot easier because nobody can give you shit. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> you can say whatever you like. You can just give them amazing. A, you can give them the middle finger if you don't like it. <laughs> and, 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 and we're excited that your channel's going to give the keyboarders a little bit of mileage, just a snippet. Just a snippet. Just a snippet. Just a snippet. But, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say to you, I'm going to ask them, please put up your hand if you can stand. <laughs> and that's the end of the show. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, but this was definitely not the end of the show. This was just the beginning. With all the kneeboard championships competitors gathering for a uh, little parade in the town. Make sure you join us next time for the 2024 Kneeboard World Titles in Jeffreys Bay. The guys have an incredible comp with some amazing swell. Make sure you subscribe and catch us then. As always, thanks for watching. Ciao for now.